Even all remarkers here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, I'm going to explain why it's important to protect your lenses in your Oculus Go and clear up some misconceptions and misinformation that's been going around about why you should protect your lenses. So stay tuned. Okay, some of you guys who've seen some of my previous videos will see that I have a protector on my lenses. So it holds my controller and it just like, it's 3D printed and it just slots in, in there, covers the nose, nose hole bit there, protects the lenses. So it stops saying you know, sun or dust or dirt or kind of makes it quite a nice little carry sort of case. You can also sort of uh, slot your control in so it carries your control as well. So I find that quite useful, especially for carrying around because the Oculus Go itself is quite secure and quite sort of well made. So that is kind of covering the sort of the key part that potentially could get damaged. A lot of people know that Oculus say that you should protect your lenses from direct sunlight. Now the misinformation seems to be that people think that the sunlight will damage the lenses themselves. That's not really true because they're glass. There's not much that the sun can actually damage unless you keep them there for an incredible amount of time and, and they start melting or something. But that's pretty much near impossible. The damage that comes is actually from the lenses acting like magnifying glasses. So if you kind of imagine the lenses, the way they're shaped, they magnify the screens. The little screens inside are relatively small. The lenses themselves magnify, stretch, make it bigger. And just like getting a magnifying glass and burning something when you're a kid, setting fires or burning ants, it does that. And imagine that's what the lenses are doing. So the lenses are actually pointing straight at the screens. And if you had sunlight coming straight in, they'll burn straight through to the screen and actually damage it. And actually sort of, you know, damage the actual screen and put marks on it sort of thing. And obviously there's no real simple way of kind of replacing that. You'd have to send it off or, or get a brand new one sort of thing. And just to back that up, Virtual Reality Oasis puts out a video podcast every week. This past Sunday, one of the people he has on is called ZimTok5, and he's a big VR Twitch streamer, and he sort of details how he took his Oculus Go out, just kind of carried it outside sort of thing, just to do something with, and carried it back in again. And then when he looked through, he had two yellow sort of squirrely dots in his headset, where kind of the sun, I guess, had burnt around and created little marks in his headset sort of thing, so it's kind of ruined it. Uh, so let's have a quick look at that video so you can sort of see what he says. So I'm, just as a background, I'm very careful with my tech and I think in the last 10 years I've maybe broken one thing. Um, holding the go for a minute and a half horizontally, not vertically towards the sun, walking oh, outside and back indoors has scalded the screen. Yeah. So yep. the brightness must have been a reflection off of a panel or something. Yeah. It looks like someone has drawn with a yellow highlighter, little yep. squiggly eyeballs oh on both sides. Yeah. I am absolutely shocked at how quickly that damaged it because literally yep. what I did was I walk outside the back door, walk over to my wife who's sitting in the sun trying to say, hey honey, do you want to do a photo shoot? Cause maybe I can promo for Oculus. Would you mind demoing? And she's like, nah, I don't want to do that right now. I'm doing my thing. I was like, fine, walk back inside. And boom, next day, realized that it's got these little things. I'm like, what's going on? Re re yeah. Power cycle it. Man, yeah. I've never had that happen with a device. Because it's very important that you keep all of your headsets not pointing to the window if you've got them yeah. indoors and all that. And, you know, for years I've had headsets with that same yeah. warning. I wonder if it's something to do with the new lenses because it was feckin' bright in Ireland, but I don't think yeah. it's that sensitive. So as you can see, he literally says he walked out headset held horizontally, so not even sort of pointing up at the sun, and it burnt through and damaged his screens. So be careful. So I would strongly suggest that if you do carry your headset outside or in bright light, that you keep it facing down. That's one way of protecting it. Also, grab yourself one of these 3D printed sort of protectors. Now this cost me about 20 quid. So it's a little bit expensive for what it is. It's literally just a piece of plastic. But it, as I say, it lives in there. It protects the lenses. You know, I don't keep this in a case at the time. I just keep this out on the side and it's protecting them. Protect them from direct sunlight, protect them from dust, protect them from my kids doing something they shouldn't. It's protected. Now hopefully these sort of things will be produced and available in stores directly at some point, but I'll leave a link down below to the video where I went over this. Also you can keep your headset in a hard case 
or in a bag or some sort of cloth bag or something would be quite good but it doesn't sound like it takes much to damage the screens and I know Zimlock has said he's going to now go back to Oculus and see if they will replace it because he kind of feels that you know it's part of the warranty sort of thing you know it, it was only literally a minute and a half it kind of wasn't sort of like he misused the device at all it'd be interesting to sort of see how that goes so the sun burning your screens is the issue not the sun damaging the lenses so protect your Oculus Go. Let me know in the comments down below if you've been affected by this, if the sun's caught your Oculus Go and it's burned through to your screen, that'd be interesting to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't like it, that's fine. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try and improve for next time. Make sure you subscribe for more Oculus Go content and hit that notification bell to be notified when I next upload. Right, that's me out. I'm done. A virtual high five. <laughs>